What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling something quite cool. This I wouldn't say it's architecture, it's the big architects or BRK Ingels design group uh, labyrinth uh, for the atrium of the National uh, Building uh, Museum. So the idea uh, is that you have this kind of a maze and uh, when you get in the walls are high but as you get to the center of it uh, the walls kind of uh, come down naturally and uh, in this organic manner and uh, then when you're in the middle you can kind of orient yourself but when you go to escape and go to the outside walls the walls are back up and then you can't see out of it. So it's uh, qu quite a cool uh, kind of design. It's, it's simplistic in the idea but I think it's it's really cool but anyway I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this in Revit but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media as well okay so here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and first of course I like to set the units so I'm just going to be setting the units to meters for this project hit OK and once this is done, now uh, we can insert the image because I've got the floor plan image. It's kind of easier to work from an image. So I'm just going to be moving Revit out of the way just a little bit to load this uh, plan image and just place it like that. Or the alternative to this is you can go to insert tab and then go to image and then just go to desktop and then find the image over here. So just two different ways to do the same thing here in Revit. But anyway, so this is kind of 61 uh, foot uh, length, which is around 20 meters. I think that the idea was to be kind of 20 meter uh, dimension. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to uh, go here to scale or just type in RE for scale. And you keep it in the graphical. So you just kind of go at one corner, select there, go to the other corner and then uh, see the dimensions. So I'm just going to bring it down to 20 and here we go so this is 20 meters and now we can kind of center it just place it in the middle in the middle of the screen okay so we've got this uh, this part done and if we go into south elevation we can just see that the level 2 is at 4 meters which I think it's okay when you're at 4 meters you can't really uh, you can't really orient yourself in this maze so that works or a labyrinth okay so now it's time to start uh, modeling the walls so what I like to do is I like to go here to the wall command or even better use the shortcut WA and then just place a simple wall over here and now I can see that this wall is a lot thicker than the the one we have over here so you can go into edit type duplicate it and let's do a instead of 200 millimeters let's do a hundred millimeter wall and then just go here into edit and let's change this to 0.1 meters hit OK OK and as you can see now it kinda fits the the whole the whole thing a lot better so let's kinda align it like that go and uh, let's start off the wall command again WA and then we can kinda uh, and change this to 100 millimeter yeah and then we can just go around kinda modeling this uh, labyrinth so you just go like this and then you start off from here and it's always good to use these kind of guidelines so perhaps you do this line over here and then when you go over here you can get this guideline so it kind of helps you to keep the keep the proportions right and as you can see over here we're kind of continuing that line so you go all the way around this this whole thing you don't have to be too precise depending on what you're what you're trying to do but anyway, I'm going to kind of fast forward this process because I'm guessing that you you already get the point and you don't have to look at me model the rest of this thing.
Okay, so the maze is done now, and uh, if you want to check if you if you're not sure, like over here, maybe you're not sure is this the line of the wall or is this the line of the image underneath. Sometimes you can uh, just turn on the shadows. So you just go over here, turn the shadows on, and now you can see that this is uh, that if there are some inconsistencies with the shadows over here, then make sure to kind of correct them. And if not, then uh, then then you're you're fine. Okay, so now you can delete the image or you can leave it there as whatever you want. I'm just going to de be deleting it. I don't need it. And let's turn off shadows for now. But they're cool. We can we're going to be using them later. But anyway, so now to to go into 3D. And as you can see now, this is higher than the level two. Now I forgot to set this wall to be attached to level two, but that's okay. We can do that now. So you kind of just select everything and you go here and change the top constraint from unconnected to a level two. So it's now attached to level two. So this works well. And then you can even play around if you think this is too short. Maybe you can do this at six. Yeah, this might even look cooler. But anyway, now it's time to make that iconic shape. So how do you do that? So what I like to do is I like to create a, a new view, which uh, because I, I want to kind of uh, make sure that uh, the cut doesn't start only from the middle, but also from the angle over here or from this corner and that will make sense in a moment so here just go to the view tab and you find this elevation view so you just go over here and you can create a new view and then you can kinda select it and rotate it so I'm just going to rotate it by 45 degrees like this so just place it there and if we open this up and let's make sure that there is no far clip offset yeah let's put this at I don't know something like 800 meters hit apply okay so here's everything and if we just maybe change this a bit okay so you can see the whole maze over here but uh, the point of this whole thing is we know this is now a diagonal uh, a diagonal view so now when I cut I can create a cut over here kind of like this and now let's go and create that cut. So go to architecture, component, model in place. And let's go over here and search for something like wall. Well, not like wall, exactly wall. So just go wall because this will be a void inside of a wall. So that's why we categorized it as a wall. But anyway, now go into level one. So this is the view over here. So it's watching at here at 45 degrees. So let's create a reference plane that goes from this corner over here all the way like this at 45 degrees and maybe extend it and let's just call it cut because it will be cutting it and here yeah that that looks aligned enough okay so once you've done that you can go to your new elevation and and now go here to create void and find void revolve and then go pick a plane by name and go plane cut hit ok and now it's time to place an access line so just place an access line like this and then you need to make sure uh, where to place it. So what I like to do is I like to use dimension lines. So just go DI and then go from here to here to here. Can dimension it, hit EQ. So just make sure that this is now in the middle of the of this whole thing. Then you go for, for this arc tool. So I'm just going to start a little bit outside from here and a little bit outside from here and just create an arc that kind of ends at a certain height and then we're just going to be measuring that height just to see over here. It's at 1.8 meters. Maybe we can make it lower, make everything lower. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, and now just use one line over here and kind of create a line like this. And now you just need to use trim and extend to trim this, trim that, and yep, and just hit finish. And you've got your void. And if we go into 3D, this is what this looks like. Now the downside to this whole process is that you now need to physically cut everything or manually cut everything. So you just go cut geometry and okay, so we go with this and then this and then we need to continue on cutting. So you go like that. So you select this, now that this cut line. So you kind of hit the tab, you select that, and as you get the point. So we select this, now this, and I'm just going to fast forward this process, you, you get the point.
Okay, so I've I'm finished with this cutting and I've just figured out halfway through that I can use this multiple cut so you just select the so you just go to cut and then you make sure you check multiple cut so you select the void first and if you can select it just uh, hit the tab key a few times you select the void and then you can just kind of select all of the walls and do them one by one and you don't have to kind of always select the void every time but anyway let's just go finish model wait for a second okay it's saved now and let's go and see what that looks like in a site plan with shadows this is the view I'm most interested in so yeah that looks quite cool okay but anyway let's go into 3d so this is what you get you get that cool looking maze and then when you walk through the maze and when you're in the middle and let's actually place a camera in the middle that would be cool so I can place a camera like this and once you're in the middle even though you're in a maze you can see pretty much everything outside of it okay so that's that was quite quite cool to, to model but anyway that's it for this tutorial I hope you have found this kind of void wall uh, option cool thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below if you want to get this project file make sure to check out my patreon first link in the description and you can download this uh, finished file and that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i will see you tomorrow